Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Crepes. French-style crepes, both sweet and savory, are a popular street food in Saint-Pierre and Miquelon. You can find them filled with ingredients like Nutella, strawberries, ham, cheese, and more. Crepes are thin, delicate, and versatile French pancakes that are enjoyed both in France and around the world. These paper-thin pancakes can be filled or topped with a wide variety of sweet or savory ingredients, making them a popular street food and a favorite dish for any meal. Here's more about crepes. Basic ingredients. Flour. All-purpose flour is the primary dry ingredient used to make crepe batter. Eggs. Eggs are beaten into the batter to provide structure and richness. Milk. Milk is used to create a thin and smooth consistency for the batter. Some recipes use a combination of milk and water. Butter. Melted butter adds flavor and helps prevent sticking when cooking the crepes. Salt and sugar. A pinch of salt and a small amount of sugar, for sweet crepes, are added to enhance flavor. Varieties. Sweet crepes. Sweet crepes are often enjoyed as desserts or breakfast items. They are filled or topped with ingredients like Nutella, fresh fruit, jam, whipped cream, powdered sugar, chocolate, or caramel. Savory crepes. Savory crepes are typically served as a meal. They can be filled with ingredients such as ham, cheese, mushrooms, spinach, eggs, smoked salmon, or various vegetables. Savory crepes are often enjoyed for lunch or dinner. Preparation. Prepare the batter. To make crepe batter, mix the flour, eggs, milk, melted butter, salt, and sugar together until you have a smooth, thin batter. The batter should be rested for about 30 minutes to allow the flour to absorb the liquid fully. Cook the crepes. Heat a crepe pan or a non-stick skillet over medium-high heat. Brush the pan with a little butter or oil to prevent sticking. Pour a small amount of batter into the pan, swirling it around to create a thin, even layer. Cook the crepe for about 1 to 2 minutes on one side until it becomes golden brown, then flip it and cook for another 1 to 2 minutes on the other side. Fill and serve. Once cooked, remove the crepe from the pan and fill it with your desired sweet or savory ingredients. Fold or roll the crepe and serve it hot. Toppings and fillings. Crepes can be customized with a wide range of toppings and fillings, including sweet toppings, fresh fruit, whipped cream, Nutella, honey, maple syrup, fruit preserves, and powdered sugar. Savory fillings. Ham and cheese, mushrooms and spinach, scrambled eggs, smoked salmon and cream cheese, ratatouille, and various types of cheese. Croissants. Freshly baked croissants are often available from local bakeries and can be a delightful breakfast or snack option. Croissants are a beloved French pastry known for their flaky, buttery layers and delicate, crescent-shaped appearance. They are a popular baked good worldwide and are enjoyed as a delicious treat for breakfast or alongside a cup of coffee or tea. Here's what you need to know about croissants. Ingredients. Flour. Croissants are made from all-purpose or bread flour, which provides structure to the dough. Water. Water is used to hydrate the dough and create the right consistency. Yeast. Yeast is responsible for leavening the dough and giving croissants their airy and fluffy texture. Salt. A small amount of salt is added to enhance the flavor of the dough. Sugar. Sugar adds a touch of sweetness to the croissants and also aids in the yeast's fermentation process. Butter. High-quality butter is a key ingredient that gives croissants their rich and buttery flavor. It is layered into the dough through a process called laminating. Preparation. Making croissants is a labor-intensive process that involves several steps. Dough preparation. The dough is made by mixing flour, water, yeast, salt, and sugar. It is then kneaded until smooth and elastic. Laminating. Laminating is the process of incorporating butter into the dough. A block of butter is placed between layers of dough, and the dough is folded and rolled out multiple times to create thin layers. This process is what gives croissants their flaky texture. Shaping. After laminating, the dough is rolled out into a large rectangle and then cut into smaller triangles. Each triangle is rolled up, starting from the wide end, to create the iconic crescent shape. Proofing. The shaped croissants are allowed to rise and proof until they double in size. This step is crucial for the development of flavor and texture. Baking. Croissants are baked in a preheated oven until they turn golden brown and become crisp on the outside while remaining soft and tender on the inside. Quiche. 
quiches filled with ingredients like cheese, vegetables, and seafood are common street food items, reflecting the French culinary influence. Quiche is a savory French tart consisting of a buttery pastry crust filled with a creamy mixture of eggs, cream, milk, and various ingredients such as cheese, vegetables, herbs, and meats. It is a versatile dish that can be served for breakfast, brunch, lunch, or dinner. Here's more about quiche. Key components. Pastry crust. The base of a quiche is typically a pre-baked pastry crust. This crust can be made from scratch using ingredients like flour, butter, salt, and water or purchased pre-made. Egg mixture. The egg mixture is the heart of a quiche. It's made by whisking together eggs, cream, milk, and seasonings. This mixture forms the custard-like filling of the quiche. Fillings. Quiche can be filled with a wide range of ingredients, allowing for endless variations. Common fillings include cheese. Grated cheese, such as Swiss, cheddar, gruyere, or goat cheese, is a classic addition. Vegetables. Vegetables like spinach, mushrooms, onions, bell peppers, and broccoli are often used. They can be sautéed or blanched before adding to the quiche. Meats. Cooked meats like bacon, ham, sausage, or smoked salmon are popular choices for added flavor and protein. Herbs and spices. Fresh herbs like parsley, chives, thyme, or tarragon, along with spices like nutmeg, black pepper, or paprika, are used to season the quiche. Preparation. Prepare the pastry. If making the pastry crust from scratch, combine the ingredients to form the dough, then roll it out and line a tart or pie pan. Pre-bake the crust until it's slightly golden. Prepare the filling. Saute any vegetables or meats until they are cooked and have released their moisture. Allow them to cool slightly. Whisk the egg mixture. In a separate bowl, whisk together eggs, cream, milk, and seasonings until well combined. Assemble the quiche. Place the cooked filling ingredients and grated cheese evenly over the pre-baked pastry crust. Pour the egg mixture over the filling. Bake. Bake the quiche in a preheated oven until it's set and the top is golden brown, typically around 30 to 40 minutes. Pâté en kraut, a French-style meat pie with a pastry crust, often filled with a mixture of ground meat, spices, and sometimes foie gras. Pâté en kraut is a classic French dish that consists of a rich and flavorful meat or seafood filling encased in a pastry crust. The term, pâté en kraut, translates to, pâté en crust, in English. This dish is considered a work of culinary art, as it involves skillful preparation and presentation. Here's more about pâté en kraut. Key components. Pastry crust. Pâté en kraut features a pastry crust that surrounds and encases the filling. The crust is typically made from a rich, buttery, and flaky dough, such as a classic French pate brisé or pate foilté, puff pastry. The crust is both decorative and functional, providing an attractive outer layer that seals in the flavors. Filling. The filling of pâté en kraut can vary widely, and it's where the creativity of the chef shines. Common fillings include pâté. The filling often starts with a pâté mixture made from finely ground meats, such as pork, veal, poultry, or game. These meats are often combined with herbs, spices, and other seasonings. Foie gras. High-quality foie gras, duck or goose liver, is a luxurious addition that adds richness and a delicate flavor to the filling. Vegetables. Some versions of pâté en kraut incorporate vegetables, such as mushrooms or truffles, into the filling. Aspic. Gelatin or aspic, a savory jelly made from meat or fish stock, is used to hold the filling together and provide a glossy finish. Decorations. Pâté en kraut is known for its intricate decorations on the crust, which can include lattice patterns, braids, or artistic designs made from additional pastry dough. These decorations not only enhance the visual appeal but also showcase the chef's artistry. Baguette sandwiches. Baguette sandwiches filled with a variety of ingredients, such as ham, cheese, pâté, and fresh vegetables, can be found in local bakeries and cafes. Baguette sandwiches, also known as sandwiches à la baguette, in French, are a popular and delicious way to enjoy a meal on the go. These sandwiches are made using a baguette, a long and narrow French bread known for its crisp crust and soft interior. Baguette sandwiches can be filled with a variety of ingredients, both savory and sweet, making them a versatile and satisfying option. Here's more about baguette sandwiches. Key components. Baguette. The star of the show is the baguette itself. Baguettes are typically made from a simple dough of flour, water, yeast, and salt. 
They have a distinctive elongated shape with a thin, crispy crust and a soft, airy interior. Fillings. Baguette sandwiches can be filled with a wide range of ingredients, depending on your preferences and the type of sandwich you're making. Common fillings include cold cuts, slices of ham, turkey, roast beef, salami, or other deli meats. Cheese. Varieties like Swiss, cheddar, brie, or goat cheese add creaminess and flavor. Vegetables. Fresh vegetables such as lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and red onion provide crunch and freshness. Condiments. Mustard, mayonnaise, pesto, or vinaigrette can add flavor and moisture. Extras. Additional ingredients like pickles, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, or avocado can enhance the sandwich's taste and texture. Preparation. Slice the baguette. Start by slicing the baguette horizontally along its length, creating a top and bottom half. The depth of the slices can vary depending on how much filling you want. Spread condiments. Spread a layer of your chosen condiments on the inside of both baguette halves. Common choices include mustard or mayonnaise. Layer fillings. Begin layering your desired fillings on one of the baguette halves. Start with a base layer of lettuce or leafy greens, followed by meats, cheeses, vegetables, and any additional toppings. Season and dress. Season the sandwich with salt, pepper, and any preferred herbs or spices. If desired, drizzle with vinaigrette or olive oil for added flavor. Top and cut. Place the other half of the baguette on top of the fillings, creating a sandwich. Press down gently to compress the ingredients. Use a serrated knife to cut the baguette sandwich into smaller portions, typically in diagonal or straight cuts. 